everybody! So I watched this channel called Let's Ask Shogo. He's great, by the way. You should give him a watch. He's very informative about Japanese culture. And uh, he released a video a little while ago about different ways that the Japanese enjoy their sake. And one of the ways that he mentioned was that apparently they uh, pour it over vanilla ice cream sometimes. And I've never tried that before. The way I've tried it before is mixed with orange juice. It's called a sake screwdriver. Um, but so I want to try that. I'm generally more of a root beer float kind of gal though. Um, so I want to try something a little bit different. And since it's usually served with orange, I decided to try instead of just normal vanilla ice cream, I decided to try this orange vanilla swirl creamsicle kind of flavor. And so I'm mixing that with this uh, sake here, which is the only kind my, my local restaurant has, or my uh, store has. And this right here is just what I have uh, need to be used up, but uh, it's, it's peach flavor instead of re uh, regular orange flavor. You'd probably, probably want to use uh, orange juice though if you have it. So I'm gonna mix uh, the sake in now. And Oh, and the milkshake is what we're doing here. <laughs> I don't remember if I mentioned that. Instead of just pouring it over the ice cream, we're gonna make it like a little milkshake, a boozy milkshake. All right. I'm gonna mix that extra good. That color is really pretty. It looks very peachy. It's a mix of vanilla and orange. And I've already got a little bit in my cup, but I'll go ahead and fill myself up right there. Eh, a little messy, but oh well. Mama. Shh. Oh well. And yeah. Tastes great. That, uh, Sweet or, uh, orange vanilla ice cream covers up the sake really well. It's not too bitter. Normally the sake is kind of bitter for me, but with the sweet juice and the sweet ice cream, it's no longer any, the, any bitterness in there. So yeah, I'd really recommend this um, milkshake recipe.